like a big nightmare. They're destroying this. They destroy. Trying to destroy, you know, what we believe in strongly. That comes from our heart and soul. The Galarulu people are, are fighting uh, against the gas but also fighting with the KLC and the traditional, other traditional owners to come to the senses about, you know, genealogy, history. And we're trying to have a, uh, a big community meeting, including with non-Aboriginal people there, no advisors, no nothing, you sort out the differences. And I think that's the way, probably, is the way to go because there has been a lot of hurt between families. We're going to stay strong. We're not going to move. This is just the beginning of this fight, and we will we will never give up. We will just we will keep fighting. So, Colin Barnett, I hope you're looking at this <laughs> because when. It, it doesn't matter how many machines you bring in there or how many police officers, we're just going to get back up and we're going to keep fighting for our country. Uh, well, I've, I've really thought about the town, the, the broom town, because I'm a, I'm a Yaru traditional owner also, and Yaru is, is in control of the, not control, but they own that land in the town area, in Broome. And uh, I keep hammering at the board and say, well, anybody got any idea what the social impact is going to happen in the room? This is the cow the thing. Oh my goodness. They haven't got the permission and they were supposed to be waiting for the section 19, but they're still going. And Look like they're getting settled in. This is what they did when they back burn. And this wasn't necessary. It's the wrong time of year. And um shouldn't have been done. This is where they are. Wow, this is this is it. This they is extended happening. that. They extended this. Lots of ways that people can help and we just we need as much help as we can and that you know what if this was your your house that people were just coming in and just damaging and just coming to your parents' graves or your ancestors' grave and just mucking that up, you know. So just, I just hope that people that are watching feel how we feel about what's going on. It's a hundred dollar fine. A hundred dollar fine. And is that it? That's correct. And is that what you'll be issuing today? hundred dollar fines to everybody? Well, I'll start with yourself. Yes, whoever doesn't move off the road will be received okay. this person. You didn't really warn me to move off the road, though. Shooting people out of country. Enough is enough. I was at the blockade on Black Tuesday when Woodside bring their big machines. Um, at four o'clock in the morning, we could hear them coming very fast. And that's when everybody got up and was standing, blocking them so they couldn't come through. And then they bring their men in um, in the big suits, so we knew that they were going to take us away. 
and um, they didn't want to take us Aboriginals. They wanted to, so they went straight to the Gradiers, which are the white people. And then they came after me, my aunt and my nan. Up the community of Broome. And then they got me and they put me in the car and everybody was singing out shame, shame on me. I work with the Aboriginal Health uh, Council and we can see that it's going to impact on, on, on the organisation in regards to Aboriginal people uh, getting sick. This, whether it's from from the gas or whether it's domestic violence, whether it's uh, anti antisocial behaviour, we 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 sort of get that the brunt of it at the time. Before I didn't feel that there was a struggle, but right now with this gas up coming, I feel that it's a big struggle because it's so easy them and it's harder for us. It should be the other way around. It should be easy for us to get back and you know be able to hold on to this. Our young girls, Aboriginal girls from me and non-Aboriginal girls are, 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 I would say but more Aboriginal girls would be uh, what they say uh, will be targeted, and I, I, I've got that fear. But when they, when they have about six thousand workers in this community, that comes to that job. You know, they're here today and gone tomorrow. But what they leave here, it, it could be devastating. Place healing. 